What's up guys? A while back we made a video on how to distress a vector image with a Photoshop texture like the image you see on screen. Today's video is going to expand on that principle with an objective of combating dot gain on press. Dot gain or tonal value increase is a phenomenon in screen printing that causes our printed image to look darker or more filled in. With this distress and fine detail we need to make sure what we see on screen is what we achieve on our t-shirt. I'm going to show you how to use the Levels tool in Photoshop to increase or decrease the intensity of your distressed texture. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. I've already got this uh, texture opened up. We are going to go to Select All. We're going to then copy it. Command C on a Mac. Now we're going to go into Adobe Illustrator. Here we're working with two identical vectors. We're going to start off with this one on the left. I'm going to hit Command V to paste. There's our distressed texture. We're going to hit Shift, or actually, I'm sorry, hold Shift Option and grab one of these nodes and drag this down to dynamically scale this. We do not want to distort our distressed texture. Now we're going to reposition where we want over our vector image. Deselect. Now we're going to select both the vector image and the distressed texture. Going over to Window, we're going to come down to Transparency and make sure that's checked on. I've already got mine open up here on the right. So here we are, we've got this button, Make Mask. We're going to utilize that. Press Make Mask, deselect, and you can see this image on the left now has a nice vintage look. It's uh, nice and distressed, kind of, and that looks pretty good. The problem is when we get this image on press, a lot of this fine detail is going to become victim of dot gain, and we're going to get significant fill in. It's going to be darker than we intend, and it's not going to look nearly as vintage or distressed as we intend it to. So now I'm going to take you back into Photoshop and show you how to change that. We are going to open up Levels. On a Mac, it's Command L, pulls up this Levels panel. This is a powerful tool. On this top row, we've got a black point, a midtone, and a highlight point. For this video, we want to intensify this look, darken it up, and so we're going to change the value of this black point. We're going to bump this up to 120. You can see that made a pretty big difference. As we hit OK, kind of it's going to go back to looking a little bit lighter, but it'll still be um, considerably more intense when we take it into Illustrator. So now we're going to, again, select it all, copy it to our clipboard, and come back in here and work on this image on the right. Paste. It's Command V, holding Shift Option, dynamically scaling this, and repositioning. Now we're going to select both the vector image and the distress texture. Go back into Transparency and hit Make Mask. Now you can see this image on the right is considerably more distressed. It almost looks like we went a little bit overboard. However, when we get this on press, this is going to print looking a lot like the image on the left looks on screen. This is going to print that way actually on the t-shirt. So this is a good example of us going roughly 15 to 20 percent more intense kind of with our distressed texture and it's going to achieve the look that we're going for and give us that vintage authenticity. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can email us at info at superluxscreenprinting.com. Thanks for watching.